guys, it's Griffin, and today I'm going to be showing you my favorite Magic Bullet Looks effects to put on designs like this. If you don't know what Magic Bullet Looks is, it's a filter program for Photoshop. It's a plugin, actually, and you should really go get it if you don't have it already. So, first thing I'm going to do, I already have this header open without Magic Bullet Looks effects on it, so I'm, uh, make sure you have your header selected that you want to add the Magic Bullet Looks to. Then go to Filter, Magic Bullet, Photo Looks. And then this is what it's going to look like at the end after we've put all the effects on it, but I'm going to do it from scratch to show you guys. So I think one of the, I think most people's favorite effect on Magic Bullet Looks would be Pop. Adds like a high pass, like contrast look to it. Um, so if I take it off, you'll see it just looks a lot better with it. I usually do 40 and 100. I think those are the best settings, but if you want to add even more, just turn them up all the way like that. But I think it looks nicer at 40 and 100. Um, so now I'm going to add some diffusion. This is a glow effect. Um, I usually like to have the color at white, but it also looks nice at blue. Like kind of bluish like that. Yeah, that looks good. Put the size to like, uh, like 40. It's really all about experimenting and magic bullet looks and just seeing what looks the best. I like to keep the grade at 3 or actually like 2.5. Uh, and yeah, that's it for diffusion. And then if, if you want, you can add light flex. And I like to have the color at white like that. And turn the boost down a lot like... That looks nice, but I think it looks nicer without light flex, so I'm going to take that off. Um, let's see. Let's add some curves. Uh, so what we're going to do is, it's called an S curve, where you make your curves look like the shape of an S. So I'm going to drag these two, t these two dots at the top up, and drag the ones at the bottom down. And then... If I take it off and then put it back on, you'll see it adds like a nice contrast effect and look, looks pretty nice in my opinion. Then the next effect is chromatic aberration. I'm going to double click that. So this adds like an RGB effect on it. Um, what most people do is they turn green magenta up and then they turn blue and yellow up a little bit more like that. So if I take it off and put it back on, it adds a little bit more color to it. Um, so yeah, that's it for that effect. Uh, let's see, spot exposure. If you want to add like some extra lighting on top, uh, I'm gonna make it a little, a little bit smaller. Like that. Then if you turn the stops up to like 0.5, it'll just make it a little bit brighter on top. Um, I like to have a bunch of spread so it doesn't look too uh, too like intense so I'm gonna turn the spread up all the way like that and that looks pretty nice so uh, tele tele sign net I'm not sure how to pronounce it this can look nice on some designs if you turn the size up to like 75 uh, it adds kinda like a I don't even know what to call it but I don't think it looks very nice on this design so I'm not gonna have it on this one uh, let's see, I'm just going to find another one that I like to use. Shutter streak, I'm going to go over this one. It can look really cool on some designs. It usually looks a lot nicer on AVIs. Uh, you can just experiment with the settings. Maybe turn the boost down like that. Fall off. Yeah, it looks pretty nice like that. And then, let's see. Oh, one thing I always like to add is auto shoulder. So if there are some areas that are like super bright, it'll fix those. But I don't think it really does anything to this header. But uh, be sure to always put auto shoulder on your designs. Uh, let's see. Let me find the other one that I use. It's called like two strip or something. Yeah, two strip process. Um, what this does is you can just like manipulate the color a little bit by changing the green sensitivity. So, you, yeah, you can use that if you want. And then, Meg Bleach Bypass. 
this adds like it just bleaches it out a little bit I don't know I, I usually don't use it but you can mess around with the settings if you want uh, let's see I think that's pretty much oh uh, anamorphic flare I like to put the color to white and then size I just keep it 200 or yeah 200 sorry then turn the boost down a lot obviously and you can give it like a flare you can put a flare on your design but I don't think it looks very nice on this one uh, vignette yeah I always use vignette to make the edges darker and a lot of people a thing a lot of people don't know is you can make the vignette white but obviously it looks like shit on this one so I'm gonna keep it black uh, I'm gonna turn down my spread so it only affects like the edges of our uh, header I'm gonna zoom out and then drag it down so it kinda fits the header better now I'm gonna put the strength to like 50 so yeah and like I said before just experiment to see which settings looks uh, look best with your design because obviously you're not going to be using this header right here uh, but yeah oh uh, sorry lens distortion uh, you can just warp your banner a little bit I usually turn the flatten up so it only affects like the outer part of your design like that, that looks pretty cool uh, edge softness it'll make the edges of your banner blurry so turn the radius up a lot blur size I like to put it one uh, so yeah as you can see like right here especially it kinda blurs out the text a little bit so yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial if you guys want me to keep doing tutorials leave a like and comment and also give me some suggestions for future tutorials I'm out peace